In the last lesson, I introduced the concept of exceptions by demonstrating two situations where exceptions can be raised, dividing by zero and trying to open a non-existent file. In this lesson, I want to demonstrate using divide by zero how to handle an exception using something called a begin rescue statement. So let's get started. We're going to call this program div by zero.rb. So let's open that up. And let me go ahead and write a program that will cause a divide by zero exception to be raised. So let's save this program and then run it just to confirm that it does raise an exception. And there's our exception, zero division error or divided by zero. So what we want to do is we want to be able to isolate the code that can cause an exception so that if an exception is raised, we can send control of the program to another part of our program to handle that exception. Here's how we do it. We add something called a begin, then we indent our code like so. This is the code that might generate the exception. Then we add a rescue, and inside the rescue is where we're going to handle the exception. So what we'll do is we'll print the exception. The exception is stored in dollar sign exclamation point. Then we'll put a blank line. Then we'll recompute the value of ratio. Then display it, and then end the begin rescue. So what happens is that if this code that I've highlighted raises an exception, control automatically moves to our rescue clause, if you want to call it that, and then the code inside the rescue clause executes, and then the program ends. So let's save and see how that works. So you'll see what happened. We tried to divide by zero. We got the error. Then we went right to the rescue clause, so it says enter a denominator other than zero. We enter that, and then it divides 12 by 2 to give us 6. Now, this is not a perfect solution to the problem, primarily just because if the user enters the value again, zero, it's going to be an exception again, which is not handled. We probably want a loop to handle the whole program, but I wanted to save that for another lesson after we've seen just the basics of the begin rescue statement. So again, to review, you put the code that you think might cause an exception to be thrown under the begin. If an exception is thrown, then the code that's inside the rescue will handle that exception so that the exception never causes the program to crash. It simply transfers control here, and we handle the exception so that the program does not crash. So that's how the begin rescue statement works. Now we're going to move on to the next lesson where I'm going to demonstrate how to put this into a loop to create a more realistic program. And we'll also look at using this technique with opening files.